Are you looking for a great color combination for your personal brand, website, or other design? Well, the website I'll show you today can help with that with a little bit of AI. Hey, Trevor here from Just Enough Design, and the site I want to talk about today is called Chroma, so specifically Chroma Co. Now this site uses a little bit of art artificial intelligence and your personal selections and preferences to put together a whole bunch of color combinations that you can use. Easy enough, what it's going to do is ask you which of these colors do you like? It asks you to just from a sw bunch of swatches choose colors that speak to you that you like. And from that it's going to show you a bunch of color combinations that work well together based on color theory. So then when you're done you'll be able to ch go browse through a bunch of great color combinations you can consider. It'll give you the codes and away you go. But let's actually walk through and see what happened. So you'll go to chroma.co, K-H-R-O-M-A dot co, and you'll go ahead and hit personalize. When you do, you'll be brought to the following screen and all you're gonna do is select 50 colors. So look at the colors and I suggest you don't think too much about it. Just which of these do you like? Like this looks nice this looks nice, this looks nice. It's going to take the 50 of them and then find really interesting combinations that A, look good and B, work well from a color theory perspective. Now I've already started here so I only have 12 left to go but simple enough you just scroll through and when you find something click on it and it's selected and it's going to wait until you have 50. Now so I'm going to get down to where I was last. Let's start about here. So you know what I kind of like these pastel greens this um, kind of rusty orange speaks to me. I got kind of this uh, really washed out yellow, kind of a very light grayish blue, same with this purple. You know, and, and again, don't think too much about your final product. There's going to be a lot of options. Just look at the colors and basically say, I like this one, or I like this one. Right? So I only have four left to do. You can see a tally here up at the top, four colors left. Now it should be noted that this product currently is in beta and there's no real option to save. So what it's going to do, it is going to put a cookie onto your browser so if you come back you can kind of check it out. Um, but check back off and eventually they'll implement an actual save system. But before you leave you can copy and paste a whole bunch of them and honestly it's kind of fun to go through it so it's not too daunting to have to go through it a second time. So I almost wrapped up, I got one more to go, I got this really bold kind of orange red. Let's hit that. All right, so upon hitting 50, we're ready to go. You can see the pop-up. If we're satisfied, we can hit Start Training. Now the training is the AI portion of this, looking at them, finding out which of the colors that I liked that would go well together, and preparing it to show me some options that we would have. And again, this could be great for many things. So this would be my personal brand. This could be for a project that I'm working with. You could send this to a client if you're doing their branding or helping them with some... Uh, visuals. Just find out what colors would work for them. So the site does need to do some work so it's not going to be instantaneous here but I've just sped ahead as we wrap up the what they call training and it's coming up to 100%. Let's see what options we come up with. So now the combinations are infinite so it'll just keep on coming up so the longer you scroll more options will come about and you'll be able to choose a whole bunch. So let's go ahead and look at this. So we got that kind of rusty red with the yellow, got a gray and kind of that uh, slightly sharper orange which looks beautiful. Got a green and um, yellow, a little bit bold, two cents of purple, just lovely sets of colors. And if you find what you kind of like, this blue and kind of soft uh, purple is interesting, or even more this red and purple. But let's go with these two here, swap them both around is really nice. I could favorite and then the details of it. So if you wanted to grab the hex code, the RGB and bias I think is regarding the AI and how they selected it. But just stunning options, lots of fun and it kind of is a way to get out of your own head as far as telling a system I like these ones. What can you do with it? And it coming back with some really interesting options. This uh, kind of yellows and purples really bold here too. So just infinite options, you'll keep on scrolling, see some really interesting options. If you do want to see what it looks like in other contexts, you can come up here to the top left and you'll see here this is the type which we currently have selected. Um, you could just see it as a poster, so if you want to see the two colors together, kind of see how they play off each other, that's great. Uh, if you come right here on a gradient, so one color fading into the next. 
So some of these just look absolutely stunning. These are guaranteed to work well with one another. Beautiful ideas for gradients here. An image. So if an image was kind of posterized and only had two of the colors, what would that look like? Some, some really cool effects. You could see that maybe as a banner image for yourself or a profile photo. Another option for a palette as it's generating. So this is going to put together a kind of more robust palette for us to use and consider for our designs. And there we are. So we, after a little bit of time to generate, not only is it going to take just the two colors, it'll actually create ones with uh, four colors for us to consider. And much like otherwise, we can favorite it if we like a particular color palette. And let's say we go with this one here. So you can favorite to see later. And details, here they all are for the hex code and the RGB. Coming back to the top, if we hit into favorites, it should bring up the ones that we selected before. And there we go. There's the ones I had selected before as favorites, uh, put specifically so now I can decide how to use them. Now, as I mentioned, this is in beta, so there's no clean and easy way to save the data. However, if you really did want to save your current selection and come back to it, up here in the top right, you'll notice settings, this little gear icon. And if you scroll down over here, besides some options if you want to play with that, like uploading a custom image. Uh, but if you see here with the save your data, so at this point you can download it. And if you remember from the beginning of the process, it asks you, would you like to upload previously saved data? So if, you're, if it's really important for you to be able to save the selections and you really like what you have, this would be how to do it. And that's it. So with a, a really fascinating website that uses a little bit of AI to help you get out of your own head and just asks, what colors do you like? And here's some combinations of that that work together. So check it out at chroma.co. That's K-H-R-O-M-A dot C-O. And cheers to your next great looking design. Bye.